This is Neil with the Fishing Automation Services. I just wanted to um, bring something that um, I noticed here the other day that uh, for sir, for some of you guys that are doing the, the new ciphers. Um, so when you're going to pull these things in to a server workstation through your Niagara network, I wanted to show something where um, we we ran into something and it's not really uh, shown on the text, text, uh, text sections. But when you go out and you discover your uh, JSONs that are out there, what you're going to do and or your ciphers, uh, all your different devices that are out there. If you notice here, um, I have um, it's an IPC, which is a cipher 30. Um, right here, I have uh, a Titan. I have a Titan for the central plant and for the base building. And then I also have another Cypher 30. Um, it's labeled CP, but it's really a cooling tower uh, controller. But when you go to take this controller and, or uh, super, you know, when it comes in, you're gonna see right here, it says Niagara Edge Light Station. You're gonna need to change that to a Niagara Station. And then obviously put your username and password in there um, for you to be able to connect. Another thing that may, you may overlook is you'll notice that when you go to connect, um, when you go into, um, so I'm going to go into one right quick. Let's see, it's um, right here. So I'll go to the one that's for chillers. So when I go to my points folder, I created one that's called chiller point sequence. Well, when I go into this folder, when I try to go to discover the points, if your username that you're using to connect does not have an admin right, this is as far as you're gonna be able to go. So if you run into a reason to where you cannot expand the config, check to make sure that you have admin rights for your username and password. Um, and then when you go to pull in your points, you'll click right here on local device and then click OK, OK, and it'll discover all your all your points um, for your Cypher 30s and Cypher 50s. But I just wanted to give you guys um, a quick little deal on that. Um, that's not something that's really out there that's well, well known. Also, another thing is please, if you're doing the Honeywell stuff, Look, go on the Niagara, um, go into the buildings forum and make sure that you're getting the latest modules because they just came out with new modules, um, I want to say about a week or so ago, and it helps you with um, enabling and disabling the uh, Ethernet ports that are built into it uh, for the switch, and then also um, helps correct some of the issues that are going on with these uh, ciphers. But then I also want to show something right quick. So let's say you're going to look at, um, like for right here, we have domestic, uh, domestic uh, it's a domestic um, supply of water from the city. But the way that we, we got this set up is if you go in here, um, it's a modulating input, it's custom voltage, but then you need to set up your parameters. So for instance, the input is two volts because it's a four to 20 that we're uh, using a resistor for. So we go two to two to 10, here's our, imp our output is low and here's our high. You also need to do your sensor, uh, low and high limit. If you don't put that in there, then your readings won't come in properly. Also, you can clamp the value to the high and low limits, so that way then you can just stick it to that. Or you can, uh, the value is invalid if it's outside those limits. I just clamp it and it's worked perfectly for us. Uh, just wanted to give you guys a little insight on some of this stuff that we, we're kind of seeing as we go along. I'll also post some other videos here shortly.